I picked up a new uh, compass. It's a, I believe that's pronounced Suantu. It's an MC2. Very popular compass. I actually own two other ones, but I'm building out another kit. And um, I wanted to show you this because I was talking to a friend of mine. It was last year, actually, and he was out doing some navigation training and looked down and although his lanyard was around his neck his compass was missing <laughs> and the reason being is because they include what they call this quick release now the way they want you the way that they want you to install this is on the loose end of the lanyard you obviously put a, a knot just a normal overhand type knot and then on the other end that forms your loop of your lanyard you're supposed to take your quick release comp or your yeah your quick release fitting and it has see that little hook there so you're supposed to stick this end there which takes a little bit of force you're supposed to put your loop through there and then snap it into that clip And it goes in there. It takes some force to get it in there. But then once you have it in there. So it's in there. Seems like it's pretty secure. It was kind of snug to get it up over the clip. And then you got to put it in the clip with some force. Okay, so then this quick release clip has this little piece here. This little U-shaped thing. And that clips into the end of your compass like so. And it seems like it's really secure when it's on there. The problem is when you're walking through the woods and it's all bouncing around, I'll never do it on YouTube video, this can come off and then with just a little bit of force, you're going to lose your compass Especially if, you know, if it's just dangling there, you're going through the woods, doing stuff, it could very well detach. What happens is, it's not so much that the clip itself, the this black part does not come off of the compass. What happens is, now you can see it actually does take some force to get it off there. That's why I'm saying that's usually not what happens. What usually happens is, is this string right here, eventually works its way off of that little part right there now it took some force to get it on there but it doesn't take hardly any to get it back out and then once it gets past that once it comes off of there it pulls off really easy because these expand when you pull on them so i've never used these on any of my compasses what i've always done when I get a new compass and I set it up, that's the whole reason why I didn't tie this knot all the way, too, by the way. I always take this loose end right here, your two loose ends, and I feed it through this hole in the compass right there. It goes through pretty easy, see? Then I pull that all the way through, or not all the way through, but you know, pretty close to the end, where I then route the two tails through the loop that it forms. And then you just cinch it up against it like that. Now, on this end, the loose end, 
you go ahead and do your overhand knot. Now I like the overhand knot to be relatively close to the end. Like so. And now you have your lanyard attached to your compass. As long as it's around your neck, it's never going to come off. So that's my solution. By the way, that's how I do it. How I've always done it. Ever since they started coming out with those quick releases, I've never trusted it. Just because I spend a lot of time outdoors especially on long distance hikes and search and rescue stuff, wilderness survival, using compasses. And I just knew from day one that they come out with this system that it wasn't going to really work in a, in a real world scenario. So I've never used it. Anyways, hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.